from a particular tribe called Benjamin. Remember, Benjamin is one of the one of the sons of uh, of Judah, of Jacob. Hallelujah. He was the one born last after Joseph, born by Rachel, Rachel unto unto Jacob. So Saul, Saul was the son of a man called Kish. And Kish came from the tribe of Benjamin. That means Saul was a Benjamite. He was not a Levite. He does not carry the priestly anointing. He does not, he was not born to prophesy. But somewhere said, when the anointing of God comes on you, you will meet a company. You will join a company of the prophets of God coming from the high places of God and you will prophesy with them. I want to say this to you today. One of the wonders of anointing of God is that anointing gives you the voice of the spirit of grace. Anointing gives you the voice of the spirit of grace. Hallelujah. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Anointing. It gives you a voice in the spirit. It makes you the mouthpiece of God to speak the mysteries of God. It makes you to be able to speak the oracle of the living God. And you begin to speak as the oracle of the most high God. You begin to prophesy. You begin to make decree. And the decree has been established unto you. You be able to prophesy. You be able to declare. You be able to make pronouncement of righteousness. Amen. Amen. In the book of Job, Job 22, verses 28 to 30. Job 22, verses 28 to 30. The Bible says, Thou also shalt make a decree, and it shall be established. Unto you, he shall be made, you shall decree a thing, and shall be established unto you, and light shall shine upon your ways. Then you will say, When men are passed down, you will say unto them, They are lips lifting up. Somebody said, They are lifting up. I said, You shall send the humble person, you shall deliver the handland of the innocent, it is delivered by the, the purity of their hands. Anointing. Gives you ability to decree, to make decrees in righteousness, to decree a thing and for it to come to pass. Somebody said, I will make a decree. I shall be established unto me. In Jesus' name. And everything gives you a voice in the spirit. It gives you a boldness to be able to stand and make a declaration and make a decree and say it. And heaven will recompense it and back you up, and hell will respect it. Somebody say, We prophesy. In Jesus' name. Anoint. He gave you a voice to be able to make decree concerning your life, decree concerning your family, decree concerning your business. You look at your business and begin to decree my business will prosper, my business will be accept. You look at it. Your children, you begin to decree concerning them. It shall be well with them. It shall be well with my children. The Almighty God will heal them. He will deliver them. They will be the best that they can be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not only that, you will be able to make decree for other people also. And what will you, you say unto them? You will be able to say unto those who are fallen. You will be able to say unto those who are downcast. You will be able to say unto them, there are these. Lift it up. Somebody said, I say, put up for me. In Jesus' name. You may not say to them, brother, cheer up. Sister, cheer up. They are lifting up for you. This is not the end of the road. This is not the end of the story. If you have mind, there is still hope. As many as are joined to the living, there is hope. There is hope that you will rise again. There is hope that you will live again. There is hope that you will prosper again. There is hope that you will accept and make it in. Somebody said, I will make it in Jesus' name. You'll be able to make the decree. You'll be able to prophesy. You'll be able to make the declaration in the spirit. And when it gives you boldness, and when it gives you a voice to make the declaration, to make the decree in the spirit, and for that to be established unto you. That was what happened 
in the book of Ezekiel 37, verses 1 to 12, when, when the Spirit of God carried Ezekiel in the Spirit and took him to a body, a body full of dry bones, they were all dry. He said, no, they were very many and very dry. That signifies hopelessness. He took him to a valley of death. He took him to a valley of hopelessness. The Spirit of God took him there. He said, look at it. Look at it. Bones all over. And these bones were dry. And these bones had no strength in them. And these bones were decaying. And these bones were scattered all over. Of and the Lord spoke to Ezekiel, say Ezekiel, can this boom live? And look at that man, the man of wisdom. He said, God, I don't know. <clears throat> no matter what to do this more candy. But God, you know it. You brought me here. You know if this bones can live. If this bone can be revived, if this bone can become flesh again, if this bone can become the army of the Lord. Then the Lord said, Prophesy upon these bones. Say to your neighbor, prophesy. <laughs> Say, prophesy unto the dry bones. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As the Lord has commanded him, and the heaven responded, and the mighty army was raised from the valley of the dead. Hope was restored in the valley of hopelessness because the one's man responds to the commandment of God. Say, prophesy. Or say to your neighbor again, prophesy. In the book of Matthew, 